We're getting a first look at how U.S. troops deployed to the southern border are preparing for more than 5,000 migrants moving through southern Mexico. The closest member, members of the caravan are about 700 miles away from the U.S. and are not expected to arrive for weeks. Maria Villarreal is along the border in Hidalgo, Texas. Maria, good morning. Well, good morning. Here along the Rio Grande River, this is one of the spots where migrants used to cross into the U.S. illegally. But now there is this barbed wire fence. It's going to be used to actually fill the gaps where there is no border wall. It was installed over the weekend by about 100 U.S. military troops here in southern Texas. Right now, the Pentagon says more than 7,000 U.S. troops are joining the nearly 2,100 National Guardsmen already assigned to the southern border. Now, people who live and work in the Rio Grande Valley are split, though, about the increased military presence. I believe that in your home you should be safe and secure. And when you don't feel that, yes, you do want the government to do something about it. It's a great big publicity stunt. You think that the president is using the military? Absolutely. He didn't get his parade, so he's trotted him out here. There are reports this border deployment could cost upwards of $200 million by the end of the year. And just to give you some perspective, I'm about 5'2 on a good day. This barbed wire fence stands about four feet tall, roughly. It is sharp. However, the reality is people can get over this if they really want to. The best it can do is probably slow somebody down. That is important perspective, Maria. Thank you. Interesting to get the uh, differing uh, ideas and thoughts and reaction to all of that. Thank you.